time. The Achilles heel of whiskey making. In an industry where everything takes time. A lot of time. One can't help but wonder. Is there a better way? And does this brave, new, fast world of whiskey making arrive in a yellow truck? Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Big day here at the distillery. We've been waiting on this barrel for a long time, straight from South America. We're expecting big things from it. What is this? Uh, Amberana barrel from Brazil. Marijuana barrels? Amberana. Abawana. If Amberana lives up to its reputation, we're not talking about a finishing barrel that takes months, potentially years, to show up. This is days. Look at the bung on this guy. This is an Amberana oak barrel. Now, strictly speaking, this isn't related to the oak barrels that we're familiar with here in the States, the white oak barrels. But this thing is going to be a funky adventure. Check this out. So this is a traditional white oak barrel that's, you know, the kind of barrel that's being used in most of American whiskey making. This is going to be the Amberana, and you can see it's a little bit more of a yellow golden hue and color. Right off the bat, I'm noticing a few different things. Oh my, dude, smell that. Yeah. Man, gosh, it's the weirdest thing. There's like a Lay's sweet barbecue chips note too. What are you expecting in terms of the speed with which we're gonna put in um, a bourbon that already has some age on it, but we want the flavors in here to show up in that bourbon, how long before it starts to be recognizable? So I'm expecting to notice something in maybe less than a week. Okay, it clings, man. Oh yeah, you yeah, the yeah. hands are gonna smell <laughs> all day of this. You gotta, you gotta like the smell if you're gonna be working with this stuff. It's a nice smell but you gotta make sure that these notes are gonna be playing well with the spirit that you can put in there. So, yeah, it'll be fun. I wanna figure out exactly what we're dealing with. So we wanna see if we can get a little bit of a sense of what the Amberana is gonna be doing with the spirit. This is a bag of Amberana wood chips from Brazil. So I weighed each of these out on a very precise scale. We should be working with two grams. We got the same type of wood. We're gonna be doing some small scale experiments with some vodka, with the same almost three year old bourbon. And we wanna see two main factors, the stuff that this wood is legendary for, intensity and speed. So while I set up our short time scale experiment, Kyle is here pulling out an almost three year old Bardstown bourbon. Uh, this is going to be living in our new Amberana barrel. We're expecting big things. But first we gotta take it out of the barrel put it into a tank, and then from there, we're gonna transfer it into what is possibly going to be one of the coolest barrels we've ever gotten our hands on. We'll find out. This episode's sponsored by Boom. Hey, Brianna, do you have any bad habits? Tons of them. So if you ever try to quit a bad habit, like the cold turkey, that's pretty intense and it's not always effective. If you can just take the badness out of a the habit, then very often that's a better way to go, yeah? Foom is an innovative, award-winning device that does exactly that. It takes the bad out of the habit. We have new flavors. I've never even tried these before. I'm gonna try them for the first time. This is the raspberry lemon. So I forgot, where's, where's I forgot your, mine. I got a little of the core on my finger. Let me adjust the uh, airflow dial here. <laughs> I think you should uh, you should experience this. I agree. That does smell really nice. <laughs> you want to open the sparkling grapefruit for me? I bet. Oh, that's really nice too. So th there's no chemicals. There's no like weird things. It has all natural flavors. It's incredibly well made. There's actually a little bit of weight to hmm. it, and it's magnetic. It gives it a little click here. Is there one more flavor? Yeah, there's one more flavor. It's orange vanilla. Let's give it a try. Oh, you know what this is? This is orange dream sickle. Did you ever have orange dream sickles when you were a kid? I love them. They're okay. my favorite kind of popsicle. Okay, now we're done here. <laughs> Go to tryfume.com slash whiskey tribe to get 10% off the journey pack. So that's tryfume.com and use code whiskey tribe to get an additional 10% off your order today. Daniel doesn't know what we're playing with today, so I'm gonna incrementally expose him to the sting. Close your eyes. Oh. Okay. Under your nose, right there. Sniff it. Oh. No guesses? No, I was not there long enough. Can I Wait, live with it a little bit? Closed. All right, close oh, okay. your eyes. Here, hold that bag and live with it all you want. That smells like beef jerky. Interesting. It, okay. 
Oh, it's wood chips. It's alive. Oh, it's funky though. Are you getting um, like sweet glazed barbecue chips? Barbecue chips. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Like, can I open my eyes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. In front of you, you will notice wood chips across these spirit samples. Okay. Time stamps when uh, when these wood chips went out there for the first time. Okay. Can you hazard a guess as to what we are possibly playing with in these bottles? Can I ask some questions? Three questions. I get three questions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is as it? As you ask questions, I'm gonna pour us a little something. Here. Okay. Is it a wood? That, I mean, it is wood, but yes. is it a wood? That's not that's, one. That's it. <laughs> okay. And you get two questions. Okay. Two more. <laughs> is it a wood typically used in spirits production and aging? Typically, no. Like, well, is it? It's, isn't it a relative of the type that is? No, oh, I think I know. Is it the Brazilian one? Yeah. Yes. The Amberana, the, yeah. Yes. Ah, I've never smelled <laughs> it before. So this is Amberana. Oh, this is, no, no, this specifically, this is a spirit, this is Cachaça. It's a rum-like yep. spirit from Brazil, and uh, they have been known to use Amberana barrels. I haven't wow. noticed this yet. What are you getting on the nose? I'm Granola finding. apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, some trippy. I've never smelled anything like that. Daniel, this is the trippy part about this wood, the speed with which it can impact things. Oh, yeah. So typically, whenever you're aging wood, finishing, in these oak barrels, you're checking it across, you know, months. Whenever we're talking to people who've played with this, it's like you need to be checking it, like days and weeks are the game, not wow, months and so years. Sweet. Okay, what do you get on this? I haven't tried taste this yet. It? Well, for one, taste it and smell this and they're fucking identical. Yeah. Yeah, on the nose immediately. On the finish, yeah. So what I want to find out is just in a neutral flavored spirit, what is the Amberana throwing at that spirit okay. over a very small window of time? Let's start with just the standard unchanged vodka and then jump over to the high end. Okay. And then let's see, okay, compared to the nothing and that yeah. AB, what's the extreme end of that? Yeah. Just to remind ourselves. What vodka tastes like? Yeah. Or, which is technically nothing? Or doesn't Black. taste like. Yeah. Uh, look, this smells look like that. whatever you dried the glasses like with. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you used to dry the glassware, that's what this smells like. These may have been living in a cabinet for a year. Yeah, that's what it smells like, cardboard box. Yeah, it's been in a cardboard box in the cabinet for a year. <laughs> so, let's strain out a Glen Cairns worth. So this is two grams of Amberana chips okay. in the vodka, the Silly Goose vodka, for 48 hours, two days. So the color difference between, that looks like... Oh yeah, night and day. Are you seeing that? On the nose, what are we getting in this? It smells exactly like this bag. But that, subtle. Well, yeah. yeah. There's just a muted version of what's right here. Subtle contextually. Yeah. Subtle for 48 hours. For 48 hours. Okay, yeah. This is incredibly intense and yeah. dense. There's a little less like sweet ham than mm. like I'll find that in there, but less in here. Slightly medicinal. It's all the front porch and dust and dirt. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. Oh. Sweet. Oh my gosh, there's like that a little. Vanilla. There's a little toasted marshmallow in there. Yeah, yeah. the vanillins are really. Oh my gosh. Jumping out. I that with kind that, of uh, dude. makes me look forward to the bourbon. Let's jump into six hours and two hours. It's really pleasant the whole way down. Yeah, it That's is. That's nice. really nice. Let's jump to six. Six hours. Yeah, it's still six, six hours. Here's the color difference between the six and the neutral. I think it's going to be obviously a lot more subtle, but it's still there if you can see it. Okay. Uh, anything different on the nose, or is okay, it it's only very... does it track perfectly? It's just less subtle. No, than the same all stuff. the things that you really liked about it aren't there yet. Mm -mm. But it yeah. does have all of the medicinal rubber things yeah. that are buried in the back. The sweetness hasn't filled in. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the sweetness not showing up. Yeah. In two days. In six hours. Oh yeah, in six hours. <laughs> but I'm saying the sweetness that can show up, yeah. it shows up in two days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I jumped I'm ahead. Afraid. Yeah, you, you ah, that. Geez. I didn't mean to. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't taste great. It's sour. It's okay. The, you get the wood on there though, mm -hmm. but you don't but get the sweetness. A sour, sour, almost like a bitter quality. Mm. That was the first thing that the wood gave you, but mm -hmm. it didn't give you the sweetness yet. Mm -hmm. But it only took freaking two days and to none get of that sweetness. marshmallow. Yeah. No, mm. none of the marshmallow. Does the sweetness show up in 24 hours? Okay. Did you just burp in my face? Yes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Getting some turkey sandwich. <laughs> Huh, that's so weird. That's what I had for lunch. <laughs> um, the 48 is still noticeably better, but the sweetness is starting to show. Oh, I can, yeah. It's starting to show for sure. It still didn't have the toasted marshmallow note that I really liked, mm -mm. but it was getting there. It was close. Do you remember when we were in Ireland at Teeling having a conversation with Alex Chasco? It was in the stairwell, and we were mm -hmm. asking about the different type of barrels he was using. Yeah. No. And he just mentioned in passing, we're also experimenting with some South American oak. Yeah. 
That was Amberana. That was the Amberana. Yeah. And they've come out with their Amberana. Yeah. 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 Hmm. So what we have here, this is the Bardstown. Okay. Are we doubling down on cinnamon and vanilla? Or? Or is it enough different of an angle of the cinnamon and vanilla that it's just gonna add complexity to these notes? 75 corn, 21 rye, 4% malted barley. Right. These are medium toast. Right. Wood chips. Right. And from what I understand, the amber on a barrel that we got is a toasted barrel. Okay. Okay. This is just the, the, the original? The neutral. This is the, the Bardstown. Okay, mm -hmm. let's just try it. It's soft. Yeah. Mouth. Mmm. Oh, oh, densely sweet. Oh my gosh, the honey is in there, man. Mm-hmm. That's Woo! a good one. This is the moment. You ready? Yes. All right, 48 hours. The color is actually a little bit darker. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. The Amberana, what do we got? It's not oh, a vanilla. It's there, but it, it jumped up the cinnamon and the uh, the cream. Oh Definitely my different. gosh, Definitely whoa. Different, yeah. Definitely different. What? And I'm gonna say, it's better. Oh yeah, it's yeah. richer. Yeah. Like it's heading creamy okay, yeah. and, oak, and oaky, but also cinnamon. The cinnamon, you're yeah. right. It's so much more forward. Let's drink this. I haven't okay. drank it yet. Okay. Oh, it really oh. is well, a Christmas. Oh. It's it's a little too much on the palate. The nose is perfect. No, no. no the I love it. Into I love the palate. A Christmas dessert spirit. Yeah, the, it's like almost ginger snap snickerdoodle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. And the fact that this is a little much for you and just right for us. Yeah. That's what we're talking about with this yeah. barrel. You have to watch it like a freaking hog. Yeah, you do, you do. Okay, it didn't just double down to make those no. baking spice flavors too much. It just gave a different angle, so it gave that complexity. They sent us the barrel, unused barrel. Oftentimes, whenever they send a barrel, they want to keep that wood tight. Mm -hmm. And so they put a little proof down neutral spirit in there, and we dumped out of the barrel. Whoa. It reeks of Amberana. Can we check and see if there's an ABV on that? 47 proof. Really? You got some char in there, you got some little splinters in there. Oh, but what did it have before that? It's just, it was a new amber on a barrel. Oh, it's brand new? Yes. Holy sh! I'm saying. It's a new barrel. Okay. The only reason why this was in there at all is just to, to keep, keep the wood it sealed tight. and yeah. absorbed, yeah. Keep the wood tight. It's, you know what? <laughs> this is that 48 hour vodka. But it was in there for way longer than 48 yeah, hours. Yeah, but that's smell yeah. it, and that's what it is. It is, yeah. It's that 48 hour vodka. And it doubled down on the barbecue note. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like a lot more. Okay. Yeah. I want to try it. Ooh, the taste, um, the bitterness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the bitterness. I do not like That's that. what we don't want to have show up in a spirit. Oh, it's um, almost got a pickle. Oh, God. You oh, said pickle, pickle, and that's I was pouring it back, and I can't even drink it now. Yeah. It literally is dill pickle juice. The yeah. stuff that was swimming in there? Yeah. Okay. We're going to be able to use those barrels a lot. Yeah. We might be able to fill and dump these once a month. And, how oh, much? Oh, my God. The speed with which we're turning around product. This never happens in whiskey. Well, and I Something would, makes it better and more interesting and more but unique. But it's also quick. And it's quick. Do we want to try a halfway point, maybe? Yeah, it's really subtle. This is what, 24? This is 24. Wow. Okay, so I, I feel like we get this subtle. curve that goes up, 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 and then in between 24 and 48, it just kind of like I don't it know. scales. It's really ramped up for me if you compare it directly to the non shipped, just the original. It's very different. But I don't feel like halfway. Mm. You know what I mean? I think it's closer to the original. Yeah, so I would think agree. In this lineup, we found this magical little spot where between 24 and 48 <laughs> hours, that's when it really starts to mm -hmm. take off. Yeah. Okay. The 48 has all of the cinnamon. The mm -hmm. 24 didn't get the cinnamon. Yeah. Like the 24 way better. Like the 24 way better? Really? I, I like On the, the palette. I like the 24 in terms of it just feels more relaxed. Yeah. It filled in some of the gaps that I didn't even know were there. The 48 though, if you want it to show up and be really yeah. clear about what Amberon is throwing at you. Yeah. The 48 is kind of where it's at. Yeah. Man, if it really impacts in a barrel that fast, Fast, that's gonna be mm. terrifying. Checking the Amberana barrel. <laughs> we filled this barrel on Tuesday. What day yeah. is it today? Oh shit. It's Friday. Friday. What do you do? <laughs> I don't, I really don't know. <laughs> Kyle's going to pull us a sample and we want to see within just a, you know, very, very, very few days. Tuesday, oh, Wednesday, wait. Thursday, Friday. But even four days, I'm a little nervous. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm a little nervous. Okay, oh, so don't put your nose in it yet. That's too late, I already did. Did you? right here. Oh, okay. It's so strong. All right, well don't don't intentionally put your nose in it yet. So this is the Bardstown right here that we put into the Amberana oh, barrel. Mm, very, no. very slight darker uh, color difference. Here. Original. Hmm, there okay. it is. Yeah, classic cherry. And lemongrass. Apple. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. I just wanted to show up. I just wanted yeah. to show up. Oh God. We may need to pull it. We may need to pull it. Oh, it smells nice. I think we can pull it Monday. 
Monday? You, well, how much drama this do is, you want? This is obvious. Yeah, no, it's definitely obvious. But how much drama do you want? We got this much since Tuesday. Three days. It's three days. We got you two wanna, more. You want to wait? Morning? Dude, this... That's my question. Do you want it a subtle? Like, this is this a little is bit subtle. This is not subtle. Put your nose in the original. I this am. is not subtle. Like, we haven't tasted yet. Okay. Okay. We should probably taste it before we make the decision. Yeah, see, it hasn't crawled into the palate yet. It's there, it's but there. it's not as drama in the palate. So, if we're going to compare it to the small scale, it is more closely in line with the 24. Yeah. Monday? If it's bad, I know the name. Daniel's fault. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. All right, we quickly just made an executive decision here on the Amberon experiment. We're going to be doing pre-sale. If you guys want to do an A-B comparison, this happened so quickly, we don't even have labels for it. Three-year-old Bardstown, that classic bourbon, and then same whiskey that was just flash aged in the Amberana barrel. But we're gonna be doing a pre-sale if you guys wanna do an A-B comparison with the same whiskey, one that is this three-year-old classic, beautiful Bardstown bourbon. Same spirit went to an Amberana barrel for just a very short window of time. It's cooking up right now, and you're gonna be able to see how much impact it made and how quickly it made that impact. So obviously a limited supply, link in the description down below. This is gonna be shipping out for context in about three to five weeks. And also all the Magnificent Bastards and Patreon, don't worry, we got you. You guys get priority, we're gonna get you taken care of.